I was born in the bowels of the Labour Party, long before Gaston Wong ever contemplated it to become a member of the Labour Party. Let me make this publicly clear that myself and Jimmy Fuller went to Gaston Wong at Swiss American Bank in the 1990s. I don't remember what year it was, Serpent, and begged with Gaston Wong to run in the constituency of City West. The Honourable Prime Minister told me and Jimmy Fuller he don't want to have nothing to do with the co-op Labour Party and the co-op Leicester Bird Administration. He's not interested. He did not love his grandfather Nova Richards. I will not get into the details of why he did not love his grandfather. I will not get into that. That's his, that's his personal thing. But Gaston Gong has to realize you can't be cursing people, cursing Prime Ministers like Ralph Gonzalez calling them bandits, cursing me and Motley, the Prime Minister of Barbados, calling it intellectual dishonesty, intellectual dishonesty person, cursing people. This is not carnival in point. This is what sound. You must understand, I empathize with him that he grew up in abject poverty. When I went and supported Gaston Moore. I was the only person in the Labour Party, not Robin Yeard, Malvin, Jones, I fought Baldwin, Robin, I fought, fought Lennox Weston, Tanya was all of them to make Gaston Brown. We lost the first time around when he ran against Lester Bird to bring on a whole Bird dynasty. I did not go against Lester Bird, my surrogate father, to walk into politics because I felt that Lester was a bad person or anything. It's all the levels of corruption, all the allegations you all placed against me, Lester Bird, Rappaport, Robin with IHI. I felt Lester's health was failing him. Gaston was a bright young person promising to lead this country. And I rallied behind him. And it's not just money serpent. My political capital in the Liberal Party, I bought all the branches, all, all, all 17 branches. 15 delegates each to vote, convince them to vote for him, campaign day and night, sometimes at 5 o'clock in the morning, to make Gaston Wong the political leader of the Labour Party. And Gaston Wong had admitted that publicly up to last year, December, at my 50th birthday in Liverpool. He admitted it on his radio station. As if it was not for asset Anthony Michael, he would never, ever become the political leader of the Labour Party, much less the Prime Minister. The guy's ungrateful. He has cemented his position in Antigua. No problem. No problem. But don't try to push me out of the institution I was born into. My grandfather, my father, my grandfather's building was burnt down by a certain person. I wouldn't call his name. Gaston Monk cannot push me out of the Labour Party. I will charge him, tell him, call a convention. If he's man enough, call a convention and challenge him within the Labour Party. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to kick me out, evict me out of the Labour Party. Well, if he does that, I'll run independent. And I'll show Gaston Brown that the people of St. Peter's have loved him. And most part of the people of Antigua, I'm not saying I'm a saint. I'm not saying I'm innocent. I'm not saying I'm a bad behavior. What a general what did mean in Parliament is totally ultra virus the standing orders. Totally. I sent him a letter to and delivered. He's constantly, you know, in some issue with someone. It's always some bad behavior. I have to tell you, I'm absolutely tired of his incessant bad behavior, his indiscipline. I said, Michael is out of control. And I'm distancing myself as the leader of the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party from the conduct of Asset Michael. His conduct is despicable. You know, I know there's some who perhaps would want to engage me. And I know that they continue to encourage him because of pecuniary gains. But I, what I want to say to Asset Michael and those who support him is that I have a country to run, and I will do so, and continue to do so without fear or favor. And no one is above, no member 
is above the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party. No one will be held above and beyond the interests of the people of Antigua and Barbuda. No friendship will be held above and beyond the interests of the people of Antigua and Barbuda. And I understand he's an observer at this time, literally cursing me and the members of the party. I want to say to Asset Michael that we have a constitution and it's either he abide by the constitution of the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party or leave. My understanding is that he's threatening to run as an independent. Well, guess what? He may just relieve us of a burden. I mean, this guy is now a burden to carry. And I've had enough of Asset Michael and his shenanigans. He's totally indisciplined. He's rotten. Literally beyond redemption. And I'm saying here as a leader of the Antigua and Barbie Labour Party, I've had enough of him. And I'm not going to go any further.